Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, so this week you join me up in Sunderland in the north of England. Uh, so I have friends who live here. Um, so we're just spending a bit of time together this weekend, uh, just hanging out, doing a bit of training. The training stimulus is going to be slightly different. So one of my friends, he's part owner of CrossFit TT, where I am at the moment, standing out just, just outside. We're going to be using the pegboard, we're going to do some rope climbs, some heavy carries, um, all quite high intensity stuff. So. Yeah, it should benefit me and um, my obstacle course racing training. So, yeah, let's let's see what we get up to. Hi guys, so Peter here. I'm just gonna do a voiceover with some more clips of what we got up to at CrossFit Taylor Training in Sunderland at the weekend. And I just wanted to address the title of the video. Is CrossFit good training for obstacle horse racing? And essentially my answer to that is going to be yes, um, but, and there is a small but, uh, I believe it kind of all depends on um, what level of fitness you're at and what level of obstacles racing athlete you want to become. So if you're a beginner and you're looking to build um, your base level of fitness then CrossFit is actually quite a good way of doing that as long as you go to a good CrossFit gym with uh, good trainers who know how to program correctly like they do up at Tailored Training in Sunderland because um, CrossFit looks to target lots of different facets of your fitness, so endurance, strength, flexibility, power, speed, coordination, agility, um, which are all things you use in OCR, so there's a good crossover there. So the difference comes though, if you're, if you're like me and you have quite a decent level of uh, base level of fitness and you're looking to really specify um, specify your obstacle horse racing training and, and move up to that next tier of athlete. Um, for me, I've identified what I need to improve and it's mainly my running. So a lot of the top guys in obstacle horse racing are really good runners. So I need to have a specific run, running training program in order to move up to the next tier of athlete. So this is Carl actually, he's just, he's just gonna do his uh, personal best in back squat here. He did that, managed to achieve that at the weekend. Uh, so this is 170 kilograms. There was a small question about the depth, whether he got low enough. It was close, but I was at the side and it looked low enough to me. Um, and he worked really hard on, on his back squat. Strength takes a long time to build and it's taken him a few years to get to this level, but yeah, he's done, done well there. And then we worked on some rope climbing technique. Uh, in, an obst in obstacle horse racing, you kind of get to the rope climb, there's often a rope climb in an OCR, and you get up it um, any way you can because you're quite knackered, but 
yeah, just improving the technique here and hopefully next obstacles race I'll be a bit more efficient and a bit quicker on the road climb. And then the lad's just working on some drills for muscle ups. But yeah, so obstacle horse racing, I mean, when you go into an obstacle, what an obstacle does is it spikes your heart rate. And what sets the real top guys apart from the rest of us is they're able to get their heart rate down really quickly after an obstacle and get back into their running almost straight away. And CrossFit is all about training at high intensity um, in that anaerobic zone. And what that means is that you become efficient at recovering from high heart rates. So you can see the crossover there for, for, um, for uh, obstacle horse racing. Uh, this workout was 12 calories on the assault bike, eight power cleans and eight burpees over the bar. So you can see the lads in the background, they're actually doing it for a competition and they were using a 50 kilogram bar for the power cleans. Uh, myself and Alex, we worked as a pair on the workout and uh, we only used a 20 kilogram bar um, and kept our pace on the assault bike kind of just below anaerobic so we could still clear the lactic acid and build up. Whereas you can see these boys work really hard and uh, were pretty knackered by the end of it, but yeah, they, they did it at some speed, I tell you. And this is us just being geeks. <laughs> uh, Carl's a physio and we like to just brainstorm different things about our bodies and how we move and all of the, like um, our mobility routines. So yeah, every day is a learning day when you're with these boys, but now we all find it really interesting. So yeah, it's quality when you get together and, and just talk about fitness. So just going back to the subject of the video, yes, I believe CrossFit can be very beneficial to obstacle horse racing. For me, it's more of a supplement to my training. It's not something I do that often these days, but when I do do it, it's a nice shock to the system. Um, but yeah, give it a try. Give some CrossFit workouts a try, see, see what you think. Oh uh, yeah, this looks like a bit of a torture device, but uh, yeah, it's a massage drill. First time I'd used one actually this weekend, and yeah, it was, it was good. It's a bit like a sports massage on, on steroids, to be honest. But yeah, another quality weekend with the lads. Um, I want to thank them all for a good time. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed watching the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back for more next week. Cheers for watching.